So anyway, they tell us that capital F of x is equal to the antiderivative of f. Um, and so, and that this is, that this is f of x right here, okay? And so we're not going to end up with a number because we want our answer in terms of capital F of x. And so this is a function that we can't antiderive using the rules that we um, are aware of at this point. And so what we're going to do is write that the antiderivative of this is what they told us it was, which is capital F of x. And we're going to evaluate that an, uh, antiderivative from 0 to 1. And so you're just going to take the um, approach that you would with any function or any antiderivative. You're going to plug in the upper bound, subtract the lower bound, and that's it. So you just leave it there. They want the answer in terms of capital F, and that, so you're done. That's, that's the whole thing. So, so capital F represents the antiderivative? That's right.